In this video, we're going to take a look at how you can grant additional users access to your account and set the permissions for those users on what tools and areas they can use. We're going to start by setting permissions. So we're going to click on our name in the left hand corner and then we're going to select the settings option right here. And in the settings area under administrative, we're going to click on user access and permissions. On the left hand side is a list of all of the tools and area of your account to which you can give people access to. And uh, the uh, first column right here, you can enable or disable a tool for the entire account. For example, we're going to disable the calendar tool. And if you're not going to use the tool in your account, you can just disable it for all users by doing this. You can assign your users to one of four user groups, super admin, admin, employee, and client. And you can change the name of the admin, employee, and client groups if you wish. We're just gonna change the name of the employee group to contractor. But you can assign whatever names you wish. Um, and then below there, by checking on or off of the check boxes here, you can give user groups access or remove access to particular tools and areas of your account simply by clicking on the check boxes. One, one setting here you're going to want to note is the assigned uh, uh, access to assigned events only. Um, if you leave this unchecked, that means that that user group will be able to access all of the events in your account. And sometimes you may only want particular user groups to access the only the events they've been assigned to. So make sure you check on that box for them. Um, that's how you can manage the settings for your user groups. So now let's assign a user to the account. One place you can do this is in the contacts area. Um, we're going to find our contact Cindy. We're going to click on her and we're going to give her access. Um, over here in the right hand side is the user access area. We're going to click on update. Um, and so it shows since Cindy has no access right now, but we can assign her to one of the groups. We're going to assign her to our new contractor group right there. We're going to click on save. Once we do that, Cindy is sent an email with a link in it. Um, once she clicks on that link, she can set up her username and her password so that she can log into the account. And it will tell us that right here when she has done that. You can also um, provide access in the leads or events area. So I'm going to go into one of my events and I'm going to click on the assign contacts sub navigation item right there. And then I'm going to click on manage. Now on the left hand side is a list of all of your contacts in the account. Um, I can assign one of those to the event. And if that person has not been assigned or given access to the account, it will ask you to do that right there. You can also add a new contact right here. And while you're adding a new contact in the event or leads area, you've got the option to provide them access with the account right here. You would just select one of the user groups, click on it, click on save. And now that person, Madison, is again sent an email to set up their username and their password so that they can log in and it will tell us when she's done with that it will tell us that she's finished that right there as well as in the contacts area that's how you can manage all of your users and invite them into your account but if you have additional questions please let us know